Welcome back everyone. You maybe have an issue on your iPhone or for some reason it says cannot verify server identity. Now this can actually happen for a couple of different reasons. The very first thing that a lot of people have been stating to pretty much fix this issue is to actually go ahead and restart your device. So literally you just want to grab your iPhone, you want to go ahead and power it off as you normally would. You want to go and just power down your iPhone. You want to go ahead and turn it back on and you want to see if that actually ended up fixing the problem. Now again, I don't know if it's going to be a guaranteed fix for this specific situation, but you can go ahead and actually just do that and you want to see if it fixed it for you. If it ended up fixing it, then you're perfectly set. If that didn't fix it, the next thing I'd recommend doing is to actually go ahead and make your way over to your iPhone settings. You want to scroll down into general, which is right here. You want to click on software update and you want to see if there's an update available for your device. Now you can see right here I do have an update available for it. So all I would have to do is go ahead and click download and install and I would have to just download and install this specific update. And this may end up fixing it for you. For a lot of people out there, most of the time, this is usually what causes the problem. And all you have to do is go and click download and install and you'll be able to install this update. Now for some reason that doesn't work or you don't want to do it or whatever the case is, the next thing you can do is to actually go ahead and pretty much go into your settings again. You want to go back into your main settings. You want to go and click on your name up here and you want to go ahead and see if there's any prompt that tells you to log in or information or anything like that. And if there are any prompts that tell you to type in the password, you want to go ahead and type in the password and that should end up fixing it for you. If that still doesn't fix it, the next thing I'd recommend doing is scrolling down all the way down here and clicking sign out. Now it says I can't sign out because of restrictions, whatever, but you want to go and click sign out. You want to sign out of your specific account and you want to log back in. If you're able to log in and as you're still having issues, then there's probably a problem with your iPhone or there's a problem with the software that you're on and Apple's probably going to have to push out an update to pretty much fix this issue. So that's pretty much how to fix it for the most part. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.